everyone, I'm Joe Desposito, Editor-in-Chief of Electronic Design, and I'm here today in our New York offices with Jay McSherry. Now, you may recognize Jay's name as the author of Electronic Design's annual salary survey issue, a very popular issue both in print and online. Well, this year we're doing something different than we've done in the past. This year, Jay has written an article based on the engineering life cycle. Now, we're not talking here about engineering components. We're talking about the engineers themselves. Now, Jay, could you explain to the viewers uh, why we decided to do this? Thanks, Joe. It's good to be here. And um, as you know, each year we uh, typically look at the compensation uh, trends of working engineers by basically looking at uh, salaries and bonuses and benefits of working engineers, mm -hmm. along with the satisfaction that they have with um, projects and, and with uh, the companies that they work for. And this year we decided to stretch our, our legs a little bit by looking at what the uh, views and opinions were of the um, engineering students, undergraduate students, postgraduate students, for their changing perceptions about the engineering profession, mm -hmm. as well as the recent grads for their experiences with uh, looking for jobs and for um, those who have started uh, working, what their early experiences are with the jobs that they found. Right. We also decided to uh, kind of go full circle and look at the uh, engineers who were on the back end of their, of their careers, those who were beginning to uh, plan for and think about retirement. We wanted to check in uh, for, uh, with them for their views about life after engineering, how they were preparing for that both professionally and personally and financially. Now as Jade mentioned, uh, we have information about the incoming class of EEs and that we've never actually had before in our surveys, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, so, so what kind of questions can you elaborate on that you ask these young engineers? Mm -hmm. Well, as I mentioned, this year we wanted to uh, expand our look at the profession beyond the working engineer to include the uh, engineering students. And um, this year more than 5,000 students and uh, oh, wow. recent grads um, that took part in the uh, research with us. Um, there were lots of things we were interested in learning. Um, one of the things we wanted to find out was um, what, who were the people in their lives who influenced their decision to uh, pursue um, a uh, career in uh, engineering. Sure, that's a big um, one. We looked at, uh, we kind of looked at their early take on the profession now that they've had some time to study it in school and learn more about it to see if their views and opinions had changed at all about the career. Um, we wanted to find out if they were adequately prepared, being prepared for uh, their careers with the education that they were getting. We were curious also to know uh, if their expectations uh, for compensation had changed uh, given the recent uh, downturn in the economy. Now, of course, the salary survey is still a, a key feature of this uh, annual report. And uh, so what kind of questions did you ask the working engineers? Mm -hmm. Well, as you know, Joe, the, the, uh, our annual salary survey is one of the most uh, mm -hmm. eagerly anticipated uh, reports that we do each year and that's because we uh, examine uh, compensation trends um, in, in various ways. We look at it by job title, by industry, by geographic region. We look at compensation by uh, years of experience and mm -hmm. education and the types of uh, work that designs, uh, designers are doing. So uh, we also look at the perceptions that engineers have about the profession. We kind of update uh, a look at uh, how they feel about the profession itself. Um, how they're doing these days compared to their peers in engineering, uh, how they feel their company treats them as, as sure. uh, engineers uh, at their companies. And we also ask them to uh, rank the sorts of issues that keep them up at night. Okay. Now, uh, every year we change the focus of the uh, survey slightly to reflect the issues of the time. Now, for instance, a couple of years back we focused on politics mm -hmm. since it was an electric... Uh, <laughs> an election year. Mm -hmm. Then we keyed on in on the recession last year. Uh, so uh, 
What are the special questions we asked in this year's survey? Well, this year uh, we looked at uh, two different things. One was um, we decided to, uh, in keeping with the educational theme of the issue, we decided to explore continuing education to see how engineers were um, uh, able to um, continue uh, learning in the ways that they needed to learn on their jobs. Um, we wanted to know if companies were doing enough to support that effort. Um, we wanted to know if they were uh, being adequately prepared at work for the jobs that they were doing. We also wanted to see if they had any advice for some of the uh, incoming class, what, what uh, advice they would give those sure. engineering students and recent grads who were starting to uh, look for jobs. Joe and Jay, thank you for sharing your insights with us today. To our viewers, we hope you enjoyed this quick preview of Electronic Design's 2011 Salary Survey which covers all the stages of the design engineer's career life cycle. Be sure to take the next step and download your free copy of this revealing report now. You will receive complete survey results, including all of the tables shown here, plus one of our most popular articles, the top 50 employers in electronic design. To download the report, visit the link showing on your screen now.